Hello, welcome to BMNG Drive, and I haven't played this game in a while, but it seems like they saved it, man. They saved a big update during the summer. They talked about wait, making an update. Here it is, guys. Check out the new user interface. It's very pretty, and they got the moving background again. It's all very nice. I really like it. It's a great presentation. looked great. But the big thing about this is the new garage mode. Check it out. So yeah, here's the garage mode, and now, they hinted at this guys, they hinted at this, and now, you can customize your cars in a garage. There's no money system yet, even though there are like some dollar symbols in the upgrade section, but, now you can upgrade your cars and save your configurations like this, spin around your car, all like, you know, Need for Speed Underground 2 style, spin around your car while upgrading and stuff, hmm. Okay. So we can, I, they also added a new car, no new map, so we're not seeing the Italy map yet. I can't wait for that though, that's going to be a sick map. Uh, but So what we can do is, we're going to choose the new car that they have here, which is the ETK, is an I-Series. And it seems to be an older version of the car. Also they added new stats to the side here, so now we can see the drivetrain and, and all that, uh, the, and the weight. Uh, it's, and then you can see the performance of the car so as you can see this is the base model 2.4 only producing 144 horsepower pretty slow honestly only 8.4 seconds and it's, mm, uh, that br break uh, what is this power to weight ratio I'm not uh, how would it how is this if the car is only 144 horsepower mm, it's not such a good power to weight ratio it's actually quite bad uh, but anyway so I'm gonna take the base model Let's take the manual transmission one because this is better. And here we are. We have a new car. And uh, you can upgrade it. Your paint design. There's a bunch of shit here. You can either do it using this new uh, menu or the old menu. We have liveries to choose from. So we can go with the racing uh, livery or the body color trim. I guess I'm just going to keep the body color trim. Let's do let's do just a few upgrades on this car just to show you what you can do. Like like you can add a friggin' uh there's a spoiler you can add. Like uh like like that if if that's what you like. You can see just the part. I don't I don't know how I wish you could toggle it to see what it looks like on and off. Don't know how you can do that. What kind of trim we can go with? Chrome trim perhaps. Yeah, it looks a little different. I actually like that more. Uh, we can change obviously the steering wheel so it's it's like before but I think it's in a much much better presentation and now there are more upgrades to choose from it makes more sense to go into a view like this so yeah and we can add a roll cage inside the car maybe uh, and we can we can also go into sub menus to change the brakes up make them like sports brakes and maybe change this, maybe make it a limited slip rear differential. You can make this a front wheel drive car if you want to, I mean, if that's what you really want. Change the tires. Uh, we already got some pretty good tires on the car though, so I think this will do. Maybe, maybe we can add the sports tires, maybe those are better. And then you can you use these arrows at the top here to, to, to back out of what you were doing. And we can change the front now, change the front wheels and tires and things like that. Let's see, let's change the steering, let's make it uh, like a quick ratio steering. Maybe, and then obviously change the front wheels. Make them the sport front tires, which one are they going to be though? These are about the same thing. Ow. Anyway, so yeah, now so th so this is just a better way of upgrading your upgrading your car essentially. Maybe and you, I can show you the new thermal brake system they added. It's actually very nice. You can now the, now your brakes can smoke because of the damage or rather the wear that you, you're doing with. You can add ABS to the car that shouldn't be having ABS, or we can turn that off just to demonstrate the brakes. Let's just turn off the ABS to demonstrate the brakes. You can upgrade the engine to a three liter. I'd rather keep it at that though. Maybe add a. Can we add a turbocharger to the small engine? Yeah, we can. Uh, detuned intake or a stock one? We can go with a stage one turbo. And maybe give myself. Yeah, let's just keep that transmission. And uh, what about the interior color? There was. It was somewhere around here. Where are we? 
let's have a look. Where's the interior color? Uh, don't know. I don't see it anymore. I did add. There we go. Can change the interior. I like that steering wheel actually. Yeah, change it to that. So yeah, this is your interior. Unfortunately, there aren't that many options inside the cars yet. You can't change the gauges, uh, but you, you can add like a navigation system as you could in previous iterations. You can't add like fluffy dice or something like that yet. That would be pretty fun though. So uh, yeah, oh, even headlight wipers. I didn't see that before. That's interesting. So yeah, and once you have your car, you can uh, save it. You can set it as the default vehicle. So that's nice now, and now you don't have to start with that pickup truck anymore. You can start with whatever the hell you want now. So, let's go. Let's pick a map, and I'll show ya. No, not scenarios. Free roam. And let's go on the raceway. And here we are. I like the new tips they added to the menus, like old sports cars don't have ABS, we are better know how to control it. This this isn't new, very new, this configurations part. But here's the car. They haven't updated the sounds yet though, I would love if they could do that. Hmm? So here's the thermal brakes in this uh, bottom left here. Basically I'm just using, I'm using just basic brakes, just basic disc brakes, not upgraded. And you can see the efficiency of the brakes. Um, if you damage the brakes in a crash, or if you use them too much, they will go down. Let's just go here. Uh, unfortunately, I wish you could save the configs and pick it from the car selection menu. No, you'll just have to load it from the parts menu, which is unfortunate. It would be cool to see your custom. Perf it would be cool to see the benchmark of the custom car you've made, how it stacks up to the pre-made cars that the developers have already done. Uh, it's not here yet, but yeah. This new car is very nice to drive. It's, it reminds me of an old uh, BMW from the 80s or so. It looks a bit different, obviously. But it has that sort of aesthetic. It does look like an old BMW. Um, obviously, this is driving the old track here. Oh, I'm kind of fucking up here. Alright, so as you can see, look. I'm going to go here, and you just watch the temperatures of the brakes. As you can see, yep, big time. Um, so, if you're, let's say, uh, if you have a controller that has uh, triggers on it, you could maybe press on the brake halfway, maybe going down a hill or something, and just watch that brake temperature rise. Let's try it from a higher speed here. See, no ABS. Yep. Brake temperature is going all the way up to 100. And basically, if you just abuse the brakes like that, the efficiency, everything will go down. It's all very interesting, actually. And obviously, the better brakes you have, the more f the more efficient they will be. The more the more resistant to uh, hard braking and stuff like that it will get. Oh yeah, you can see the temperatures go very high up. But I actually think having the ABS, it seems like having ABS is actually making the brakes. Uh, yeah, making the brakes more heating uh, because it because ABS relies more on the system of the brakes rather than stopping the tires or maybe I'm wrong I'm not sure seems like these basic brakes are doing a pretty good job at it though but I'm pretty sure if, if you drive around for too long uh, those brakes will will go down Yeah, the brakes, and if, you, if you're if you using the brakes too much, uh, they will start smoking. So if we crash or something, I don't want to, if I crash, then it ends up ruining the rest of the car. It's undrivable, into an undrivable state, but as you can see, yeah, the brakes, the brake temperature goes up very high. Oh, you see the, the, the little bit of smoke, or maybe that was just from the tire. I think that actually might have been smoke from the brakes. Look, look at that temperature, though, and it's not really going down, so... At this point, the braking should be worse, actually, uh, when it's going like that. Oh yeah, nice drifting, man. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can see the smoke. There you go. Thermal efficiency is at 99%. And uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the good brakes uh, combined with your ABS, probably even combined with the ABS, will have better performance. Let's try that again. I messed up. Because braking while steering with ABS, bad idea. Generally, bad idea. Let's go from high speed. Let's try going faster. Let's use the brakes around the corner just to make them worse. But yeah, it's basically like the engine thermals, where with the engine thermals, you can see just a very big detail of uh, your engine heat. Uh oh. Mm, that wasn't very good. That's not the brake smoking, that's the engine dead. You can also change uh, your, the brakes you're looking at, so I'm just looking at the rear brakes now. We can look at the front ones. And if you look at the front, the front left one, you can see the front brakes are, are actually in worse condition. Because obviously, I mean, you're trying to stop the car from going forward and uh, it should be worse on that end. Let's try and destroy the... Uh, there is a way to ruin the brakes better. Uh, you can make the efficiency go down if you keep if you keep cra if you crash your car. It specifically damage the wheels very much, as you can see from the uh, damage uh, body there, something lo looking like a bit of Forza. Uh, it basically indicates all that stuff for you. Oh yeah, this car's smoking like hell! Holy shit! Holy shit, that's bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Damn. What the hell happened to the car? I'm not sure if this game simulates tire wear yet. That would be very cool to see such a thing. And maybe to... Because I don't think there are race slicks in this game. You can get tires that are better performance. But... I haven't seen any like racing slicks, so no like smooth, like no like super soft tires. Not yet, at least. But yeah, that's this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you in also enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed this BMNG update because it's really good. And I hope the developers continue bringing this game, like improving the game. It makes it really, really good, man. I love it. It's so good what they're doing, man. Yeah, boy. Uh, another thing they added, which I won't show in the video, but they, they finally brought back the chase mode for the AI, so you can have cars chasing you, you can have AI cars chasing other AI cars. That's pretty cool stuff, I think. But yeah, thanks for watching.